Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my nighttime skincare routine. So as you can see, I do have some acne scars from previous breakouts. I do wanna preface this video by saying that this is what I use and this is what works for me. So the first step in my skincare routine is obviously cleanser. So what I use is Panoxyl. I know a lot of people use this to target body acne. I personally like to use this on my face, but this helps clear existing acne as well as prevent new acne. And it also contains benazole peroxide, which is really good for targeting acne as well. I don't typically have acne, but I do get breakouts every now and then. But I do like to use the Panoxyl to kind of manage that acne and keep it at bay as well as prevent future breakouts. This isn't a cleanser that I like to use morning and night, although it can be used morning and night. I personally don't like to do it because it tends to dry my skin out. Um, so I typically reserve it just for the nighttime so I can still get those acne fighting benefits. I like to put on my cleanser dry. So I don't wet my face first. I go in right away with the cleanser and I slowly but surely add water as I go. I personally also like to let it sit on my skin for like a couple minutes minutes, not minutes, but maybe like 30 seconds to a minute just to kind of let it work its magic and then I'll rinse it off. I choose to rinse off with a, a rag. I don't like to use them back to back. I typically like to wash my rags in between face washes because I feel like it's very easy for bacteria to kind of cling onto to, to rags like that. So I always like to get a fresh one. So after my face is washed and after it's rinsed, I like to let my skin air dry. So I fan my face or do whatever I have to do um, before I move on to the next step. And so my next step is my acne treatment. So I know I said like, okay, I don't really have acne like that, but girl, when I do get breakouts, I don't want them to stay very long. So what I use is different gel. So this is a Dapolene gel, it's 0.1%. This is, I was prescribed this by a doctor some years back um, and I found out that they actually sell this in store. So I got this at Target. I think it goes for like 12 bucks for like the small one. Um, and I like it, like I just, this is literally a spot treatment. So I'll just take this, like a really small amount, like not even a pea sized amount and just gently uh, massage it into the areas where I have some breakouts. I specifically like to use this in tandem with the benazole peroxide that's in the Panoxyl because when I did have that prescription, it was those two um, ingredients combined. So I feel like this is a really good at targeting those breakouts and it's really helped me uh, manage my acne or the breakouts that I do have. Unfortunately though, the same thing applies with this treatment as it does with the Panoxyl. It dries my skin out. Um, but with this um, treatment specifically, you can only use this once a day, so I can't overdo it and, and, and make my face too dry. Um, typically, I will only do this at night um, just to kind of prevent any kind of reactions with um, sunlight. So once my face is washed and I've applied my acne treatment, I go on into my next step, which is serum. So this is the Bioma Brightening Serum. This has triceramide complex, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. Um, so I really like this serum so far. I've been using it for about a couple weeks now, and I'm not gonna lie, I think I do see a difference with the, um, the, the darkness of my acne scars. Um, I don't know like one day I just woke up and I looked in the mirror and I was like oh shoot like I think these are lighter <laughs> so I'm actually really enjoying this so far I recently did just purchase a faded serum and it has a lot of the same ingredients that are in this bioma brightening serum so if the faded serum is too expensive for you or you you know are concerned about trying it although it doesn't have all the same ingredients I will say that this is definitely I definitely recommend this um, for you to use if you want something that's a cheaper alternative. Next product that I use is my moisturizer. So I was at Target, I needed just something quick to throw on my skin and I saw this Bioma Moisturizing Rich Cream. So this also has the Triceramide Complex as well as Bacuchiol and Shea Extract. Um, at first I wasn't a huge fan because I felt like okay, is this really is this really providing me with the amount of moisture that I need for my skin? But I actually do really like it. As I continued to use it, I really noticed that my skin wasn't dry as often. So typically, like let's say I go a day without washing my face or I, you know, don't put moisturizer on, I will typically have dry patches and I haven't experienced that with this 
this moisturizer. The only thing that I will say about this moisturizer that I do not like is the packaging. Although I think it's very cute, um, it's very difficult to get it out sometimes. So sometimes I'll literally have to smack it against my hand in order to get the pump to pump out the product. I just recently started using the Rosehip Seed Oil by The Ordinary. Uh, I love it. I, I love this. My skin is glowing when I finish. Like, yeah, I look a little greasy, but my skin is so moisturized. And I honestly have just felt like my skin is more radiant after I finished using this. So I really enjoy it. I also started using this on my body too. And it gives me a beautiful glow. Like, really love this. I've definitely noticed a difference with my skin. However, I will say I will only use this at night uh, so i made the mistake of applying it to my face twice a day because i'm like oh shoot like it's an oil like what can go wrong and my face started breaking out so i will give y'all that warning use this listen to the directions use it once a day before bed that's it that's all period last but not least i have my lip balm and when i tell <laughs> let, let me let me just talk about this lip balm with this lip balm i never have that nasty little white ring on my lips i feel like as some of us do with bigger lips you know what i'm talking about i never really get that ring my lips are always moisturized they never chap they're never like cracking like i can't rave about this enough if you're gonna go and buy any of the products that i've used in this video this is the one that you should buy And here we go, here is the finished look. As you can see, my skin is hydrated, it is dewy, it is glossy. But that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.